So hey guys, today I'm going to be explaining how you can dump your onboard blobs for 32-bit devices and a, a update to that version or to a uh, to that spe specific version using this tool. So oh, my device here is an iPhone 4s 4.1 running iOS 9.3.3. So now I'm going to be uh, dumping the onboard blobs of this phone so there's a couple things you gotta do so make sure you go into Cydia and install OpenSSH and uh, Core Utilities so you need both packages to work alright so once you have those two packages in, uh, installed you're gonna go ahead to this page and you're gonna download uh, ODSUS 0.999 so download this tool but also, you also need to download a tool called ODSUS OTA2. This is by uh, this is a tool made by Teamstar. And go ahead and downgrade this tool. Just click on this video. I'll leave the link down below in the description. So and go ahead and download this tool. And uh, just it's right down here. So download this tool. And uh, because you need the you need other stuff for this to work. Uh, you need do you need to go ahead and extract this Odysseus folder to anywhere you want and then you're gonna go into the Odysseus OTA2 folder and you're gonna grab the iDevice restore file and then you're gonna copy it over to the Odysseus in a Mac OS folder All right, paste it down there if you're using Linux go ahead and copy the Linux from the Linux folder all the way to the Linux folder Okay, now you're gonna have to put a couple things here in the uh, macOS folder. So you're gonna need to put uh, a, a the, the the current version of your device IPSW. So mine's gonna be 9.3.3. .3. Put it in here. So I've already created the custom IPSW. So I'm not gonna do it now. So put the 9.3.3 .3 IPSW inside this folder. Now once you have that thing in the folder. You also need firmware bundles. So firmware bundles, head over to this link. So I've also put it down here and find your firmware bundle and download it. So in order to download it, it's a little complicated. Just say this. Go ahead and copy the link. Go to down JIT. Paste it down there. Hit download. So download that and extract it until you see a dot bundle file. That's easy. Now go into the terminal window, go into CD to that folder. So CD to this macOS folder, enter. Now you're gonna, you're gonna follow, I'm gonna follow this page, this official instructions, and I'm gonna skip the validate the blobs thing. Save your baseband. So paste the command in, save the baseband, just copy the command and go into your iDevice and copy the IP address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.105. And I'm going to dump it now, but I already have it. Uh, the main uh, the password is Alpine unless you have changed it. OK, so next command, you're going to have to dump. Are you going to build the IPSW? So this part is where it's mine is going to be a little different from the official guide. So here's the command. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type it up because you, there's a quite a lot of things that you need to change. Dot ipsw dot slash ipsw download ipsw. So my I'm going to create it in iOS 8.4.1. So this is where I'm going to explain. You're on 9.3.3 created a 9.3.3 custom ipsw. But for later, I'm going to be needing uh, the 8.4.1 to make this thing work. Okay, so just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to type it out. Let's say I'm creating an 8.4.1 IPSW. So download the IPSW is the iPhone 4.1. This is the custom IPSW. Uh, download IPSW. Create a name for the custom IPSW. Let's say custom 841.IPSW. This create whatever version you have, okay, and then type the memory parameter if you have more than four gigabytes of RAM, 
nbaseband.tar. Uh, you don't need to do this if you have an iPad with Wi-Fi or an iPod Touch. Go ahead and run this, uh, and then make sure there's no error and you see the file. I've already done it. I'm not going to do it to, just to save time. This video might be a little lengthy. All right, so once that, what you're going to do is extract the IBSS from the custom IBSW. Go ahead and copy this whole command. I'm not going to be typing. It's quite long. Custom IPSW. So go here. So I need I have two. So I'm gonna dump it twice. So that's number one. And uh, I'm gonna dump the other one. So actually sorry. Uh I think I should explain it right now. So when I'm dumping the blobs, the 9.3.3 uh, IPSW is not allowing me to dump the blobs so a, a user on reddit suggested me to use the 8.4.1 to down uh, to dump the blobs it may work for you using the 9.3.3 IPSW but for me the 8.4.1 IPSW is the way to go you might have the same issue so I'm gonna be using the 8.4.1 IPSW so in this case we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be uh, extracting the uh, Pawn IBSS from the custom 8.4.1 IPSW. Okay, so custom 841 IPSW, and here it is. Now, you can SSH the device, and oh, sorry, but to dump the blobs, go all the way up here. Okay, so sorry I got interrupted, but let's continue. Uh, let's extract the IBC. So from now on, you're gonna all have to change the file name if you created a different file name so here custom 841 841 okay now you should see more file pawn IBC now you're gonna boot pawn uh, mode here on the device now make sure you have the two packages open SSH and uh, open SSH and and uh, core utilities so, uh, go here, copy this command, copy it to here, and then you're going to enter the device IP, so which I believe is 192.168.1.105, let me just make sure, yes, 192.168.1.105, alright, so this, wait for this to connect, Wait for it to connect. So it might take a while. So all right. So here, it says it's. I've already changed something. So which, when you see this, all you have to do is take here, go into Finder, go to Folder, paste it in, and delete this known host file. All that's all you have to do. And then run the command again. Should work. Type yes. Alpine. And now your device screen should turn black. Now, if it didn't turn black, comment down below or try it again. So now it should be in here. Now, take the next command. Okay, so now open a new terminal window. New terminal window. All right, CD inside this folder. Leave this window open just like that, and then dot slash i recovery, just the same thing. F pond i b e c. Okay, enter. So fail to connect. If you see this, unplug your device and replug the device. And just to make sure, open up iTunes and uh, okay. So if it sees recovery mode and you don't see a zero number, you're good. Quit iTunes run it again okay so sent it now now we get to grab the blobs now follow each of these commands it's easy dot slash i recovery s and error claim interface that's unplug and replug again 
Okay, now you're in here. Just try it a couple of times. Unplug and replug if you need to. Now it should say I recovery right here. Now let's copy the commands. Just to be sure. Okay. Go blobs. Copied and exit. Your device should reboot, I believe. If it didn't, manually reboot it. Oh, sorry, it's not there. Now, and the slash, slash slash i recovery g my blob dot dump. And there we go. And there's no error. Slash i recovery recovery. Get a re enter i recovery. Reboot the device. Reboot. Enter. Now your device should reboot. You should see the Apple logo and booting up. Now we're going to unpack and validate the blobs. Now here is where I always get issues. So listen carefully. If you're down, if you're dumping the blobs of an iOS 9 device, try it with the iOS 9 custom IPSW first. When it says matching IPSW, use 9 first. If it doesn't allow you to do it, then uh, use sorry if you right here make sure you use the iOS 9 block so IPSW and if you previously use iOS 8 to get to that on uh, a previous step right here you must use the iOS 9 IPSW no the version you have otherwise it will not work blobs will become invalid and you will not be able to use the blobs okay so dot slash tick my blob dot dump my blob dot p list now it says matching ipsw you're going to use either the custom 9 uh 9.3.2 ipsw or just the normal ip 9.3.2 both will work go ahead and uh Custom IPSW, okay. Now dash Z, enter. I should have this file, and then dot slash valid date. My blob dot p list, and then using the matching IPSW. So this is the nine point three point three one, and dash Z. Okay, so seems usable tutorial to explain it to you but go to the uh, right before you we right after we finish extracting the previous uh, command here is save blob for the ECID you can have to copy the number over here and remember we have this my blob the plist file go ahead and change the name of this file so whole name the whole file name and you're gonna go ahead and change it to this uh, uh, to this uh, format, so it's ECID dash iPhone model, so iPhone minus iPhone four comma one, and then score the firmware version nine point three point three dot shsh. Enter. Now this should be right, and so. Let's go here and see if this is right. So sorry, I had to watch this video. So I, I am watching this video. So ECID I device bundle version dot S H S H. So that is correct. Okay. Now it does not say on here. I had to follow that video tutorial. Now this is done. Go ahead and put it inside the S H S H folder. And we are now about to start the restoring process. Okay. So let me just go ahead and put my device into jailbreak mode again as you know that the iOS 9 jailbreak is tethered so I'm gonna go ahead and running the jailbreak now uh, if you're if you're using the 9.3.9.3 to 9.3.5 jailbreak the uh, SHSH will not be working properly so once you jailbreak you might need to reinstall open SSH so after you install OpenSSH, I will be right. Back. Okay, so now we're gonna be about to restoring the device. So 
if you dump the blobs and you're wishing to move to a higher version of iOS, be sure to put the version of iOS you are going you are willing to go to inside the SHSH folder. So I'm going to be going to 9.3.3 again because there's nowhere else I can go. But if you have 10.2, 10.3, 10.1, anything like that, put it inside this folder and make sure it looks like this. ECID, iPhone model, and version number. So I think I figured out the problem. Uh, I did not actually change the, the extension of this thing because I have hidden extensions enabled. So let's go into info and just all the way all to the back and remove the plist file okay so use shsh now now the shsh file is now ready and we can now go ahead and put this device back into K uh, execute kloader and then and then restore using this command so i will uh put it into kloader and i will be right Okay, okay, now we're gonna put it back in the K loader. So, command 192.168.10105. Password is Alpine. And now this device should once again be in the black screen. Okay, so. Now keep this window open. New window. So new window CD right see this window and now let's hope let's hope this time it'll work if kill iTunes help review haven't done so I've already done I device restore I device restore D W custom dot IPSW well so let's hit the enter button and cross our fingers. So it's extracting a file system for IPSW. And uh, okay, so sending IBSS. So it seems like this device has, is going to restore. So there we go, there we go. Okay, so from now on, if you see the Apple logo on your device, this has probably succeeded. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this device, uh, speed the video up, and be right back. So this connection is just fine. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm just gonna see how it is. Uh, if you can see this thing, it's not that worrying. And here is also gonna say no data found. Blah 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 blah. So. Don't worry unless he actually throws you an error. Don't panic. So see, no data to read. It's okay. It's actually going to restore properly. And you can also pay attention to your iPhone. Uh, it should The bar should start to load. I'm going to speed the video up. And let's sit through this thing. Okay, so once you see this done, and your device should be rebooting, and you should be on that desired version. And also, you have the blobs to roll back to this version you were running. And you can, if you don't like the new update, you can always restore back using this final step. It's so the final part where you restore. Just go ahead and start from here and you will be able to put it back to this specific firmware. So that'll be it for this today's tutorial thanks for watching hope it helped if it doesn't hit me a pm and i'll try to solve your problem thank you bye bye